On Saturday, Afghan police said that unidentified assailants gunned down former Afghan MP Mursal Nabizada and one of her bodyguards at her Kabul residence. According to reports, Mursal Nabizada was among the few female parliamentarians who stayed in Kabul after the Taliban seized power in August of 2021. Based on news reports, this incident of assassination is the first time an MP from the previous administration has been killed in the city since the takeover. News agency AFP quoted local police chief Malvi Hamidullah Khalid as saying that Nabizada and her guard were shot dead around 3 a.m. on Saturday in the same room. He said that her brother and a second security guard were injured. According to reports, a third security guard fled the scene with money and jewellery. Reports further said that the former lawmaker died on the first floor of her home, which she used as her office. Khalid said that investigations were underway. Kabul police spokesman Khalid Zadran said, and I quote, Nabizada, along with one of her bodyguards, was shot dead at her house. The security forces have started an investigation into the incident. A brother of the former lawmaker was also wounded in the attack, which took place during the night between Saturday and Sunday, Zadran said. Former lawmaker Marian Sulenman kills tweet read, a true trailblazer, a strong, outspoken woman who stood for what she believed in, even in the face of danger. Despite being offered the chance to leave Afghanistan, she chose to stay and fight for her people. We have lost a diamond, but her legacy will live on. Rest in peace, her tweet read. Abdullah Abdullah, who was a top official in Afghanistan's former Western-backed government, said that he was saddened by Nabizada's death and hoped that the perpetrators would be punished. He described her as a representative and servant of the people. The former Kandahar parliamentarian Malalai Ishakzai also offered her condolences. 32-year-old Nabizada hailed from the eastern province of Nangarhar and was elected in 2019 to represent Kabul and stayed in office until the Taliban takeover. She was a member of the Parliamentary Defence Commission and worked at a private non-governmental group which is the Institute for Human Resources Development and Research. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.